see, you put a dry ice and there you have it. So today we'll show to you and explain all details how to make super awesome tower that you can serve any drinks and beer, but the most popular champagne. So let's start with the setup, which is the most important part here. First, you need to find one or two tables. We just use this uh, like normal office size table and we put them together. Just make sure that they're flat. So this is really, really important. And next you need to find a spot where you would like to put them. So you see we put like not in the middle of the room, but like kind of closer to balcony. And make sure that you put it somewhere safe that nobody would like touch it. Because if somebody on the way to balcony hit your table, the whole tower might fall. So just to find a spot in the room where it still would be really visual, that guests can go around and it wouldn't be on the way. Next is glassware. For this video, we will be using classic champagne glass. Four ounces. Price for 360 uh, glasses was uh, $39 with delivery. And this one is plastic. So I can't really say how much time does it take uh, to build a whole tower. It just depends how big you want. For example, if you will be building the big one with over 200 glasses, it's better to um, have little help. So it, if you will do it by yourself, it will take kind of like a long time so it's better to do it with someone we will be using plastic champagne glasses for safety but of course you can use glass too you just need to make sure to practice and start with little one before you build a big one and if you're planning to build really tall tower with many glasses we would recommend to use a shorter champagne glass so there's two options to build it you can have a square shape or the triangle uh, we would recommend to start building triangle just because it's kind of more stable and it looks better from every side. Okay, now we'll show you how to build the smallest one. So you see, it's just a, a few things you don't want to get wrong while you build your tower. Uh, the first one, again, you should be able to move around the table to like build it from this side, from here and here. You can, you can start in the middle. You see there's a line, there's two table. Place the first glass right here in the middle. Right in the middle, it's not moving. Then you put uh, two more glasses right here and then you need to start placing like here's two more but the thing is just make sure that they all touching uh, each other corners because if there will be a gap in between the liquid will go uh, around and it wouldn't be so stable so it's really really important to see that all edges touches uh, each other and then look like three two you put one right here in the middle you see it's like a perfect triangle and then you start building from on top. You see, you place it right here in the middle, but you also touching um, edges right here. And then the third one, you put like slowly here. Make sure obviously they all the same size. And then when you build it, try not to lean on the table just because <laughs> it might fall. So, and we need one more glass right here. And that's the smallest one with only uh, 10 glasses. So this, this is the minimum you can, you can build, but you get an idea. And now I'll show you how to upgrade it to 20. Yeah, I almost forgot to mention that this should be your like um, uh, baseline. For example, if you're trying to build it bigger, bigger, keep in mind, it will be growing and keep going this way. So like if you plan to have a really big one, that you should start even closer here. So like like maybe right here, because it will just go, go more and more and more this way. If you start um, in the middle, you wouldn't really have much room to play. Hope it makes sense. So this is, as you can see, the smallest one. And now I will just show to you how to upgrade it. But this is not the way how to build the biggest one. Let's say if you already prefer to build a big tower, of course it's better to build first the base and then build it like this instead of just adding from each side so but now look uh, again make sure that they are completely stacked together you see this one was a little loose so like check every glass and then just add the first one to the base and then start adding right here again make sure that they touch each other so put one more right here and then go top the same thing Two, put one here, Palm. and one on top. So you 
PC and now you pretty much upgraded and made it twice bigger. Well, it looks good, but you see the only thing, it's like a little bit um, on the right side for me. If, if I knew that from beginning that I need to build like, let's say 20 glasses, I would place them right here in the middle, like four, and then uh, start building this way. It would be perfectly uh, in the middle, but now it's just like a little bit more on the right side, which is not a big deal. It's just visually not so presentable. So now pay attention. We will show to you how to make the same, except there's gonna be 284 glasses. So if there's two of you, it takes about 15 minutes to build the whole thing. And keep in mind, as you see, this is not a glass. Plastic uh, is not super, super stable. So make sure that nobody touch the table. Try to be really careful. So we're gonna be using uh, Californian sparkling wine just because it was the cheapest. But I highly recommend before you actually make the first one with a real champagne or with real uh, spirits, just to practice on water. Okay, and there's one more thing. We're going to add dry ice for presentation, but you also can make it even prettier because I see sometimes, uh, depends on the product you use, uh, you could put a cherry into the glass or sometimes you could put like a roses inside. So just, just something to make it even prettier. And I'm sure some of you are watching this and a little bit scary, but uh, keep in mind, if you want to uh, make it even safer, if you prefer not to pour from top, you can build it already with champagne. So you can just uh, pour glasses of champagne before and then just build it. So like by the time, let's say like before the midnight, you can just put like uh, water into dry ice and start, you know, like all this smoky effect and you can, and guests can just come and uh, grab sh uh, champagne. Uh, but make sure you either have someone in charge who would do that when uh, a drunk guest would come and then just grab one from the bottom and the whole thing would fall apart. So just make sure explain that uh, it should be taken like this from from top to bottom not the other way around and don't forget to prepare champagne accordingly so if we have uh, four ounces glasses it will be roughly enough for like uh, pretty much one bottle of champagne for seven full glasses but you can always choose smaller glasses or bigger glasses it will look just really good at the very beginning when you will have like a dry ice and then start pouring uh, but once uh, guests start taking glasses that's pretty much it. Yeah, that presentation is over. We're gonna use this for dry ice and uh, we'll be placing it right behind. So not touching the tower, but you will see the smoke will go around. Super important. Guys, now pay the closest attention, please. When you will be pouring on the top glass, make sure to do it really, really slow. You see, you need to pour right in the middle. And let's say if, if, if you not, uh, if, if the tower is too tall, it's totally okay maybe to stand on something. But I would recommend just to build tower, for example, high, that would be really comfortable for you to pour. So this is absolutely maximum where I can reach it. Even this kind of like little tall for me, so it would be even better if it was here. It's more comfortable that way. Put slowly right in the middle of the glass. Make sure that it wouldn't move. So we have your boiled water and dry ice. So you don't have to put like the whole thing. You can put like half of the shaker. You can see it's about 15 ounces here. Woo! Right, and let's start pouring champagne. Super slow. One bottle of champagne's out. Ah. 
even don't get overconfident you can start pouring with two bottles or you can ask someone to help you at the same time to make it faster but just don't rush make sure that you wouldn't push it with a bottle by accident or if you will be asking someone make sure that your uh, friend or guest is not super intoxicated try to prepare this before like maybe if you will be doing it for new year's eve try to uh, prepare in advance and right before midnight you just put uh, dry ice and make it smoky and uh, add a little bit more but uh, make sure it's prepared because you don't want people to rush So thank you guys so much for watching this episode, if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, let me know in the comments if you will be trying this at home, and I will see you next week. Fuck!